hate being this far from the camera. Anyways, welcome to today's video, which I'm gonna get to what it is in two seconds. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different than what I usually do because usually I'm sitting down and I'm showing you guys clothes or just what I purchased for that week or I'm showing you guys my merch or something like that. Still, what I purchased for that week. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today because I wanna do something different and I've been too lazy to do this in the past but now I'm just gonna do it because I need another video idea and this is just one that I figured I might as well do which is showing you guys my outfits, my clothes and basically just how I style everything that I have well, not everything my style basically what I've been wearing over this past few weeks this these past few weeks and yeah that's it let's get into it <laughs> So since we are literally running into fall right now, I decided to start off this with a more fally outfit. <laughs> so this outfit features a sweater that my father gave me like a few years ago. And then that is actually a dress underneath there from Forever 21. You see, that's the dress from Forever 21. And then these tights here are from Amazon. And then I'm a tights and leg warmers girl. So leg warmers are a go-to with my outfit. So I had to include the black leg warmers, which I got from Amazon. And then these shoes are from Demonius. And all the jewelry that I'm wearing is basically eye girl. But then we also have goth shoddy beauty in there. Is it Gloss Shardy Boutique or Gloss Shardy Beauty? I guess. Another Depop shop that has jewelry. Also, excuse the AirPod, but whenever I film stuff like this, I get distracted real easily and then I get bored and I don't want to do it anymore. So I have had the AirPod in my ear so that I can listen to music so I don't get bored. Yeah. Next outfit. <laughs> Okay, so for the second outfit, we have a sweater from a DKNY jeans, but the person that I bought it from is from off of Depop, so I can't tell you specifics besides the brand. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but anyways. And the skirt is also from somebody from Depop. I think Rebellious Butterfly, but I don't remember what the top, who the top is from, but I'll write it down. And then, of course, we have the tights again and the light warmers, and then we have our Demonia shoes, damned 318s. And then all the jewelry is same people from the last time, which is Agro and Goth Shadi Boutique as well as another chain that my mom got me which i didn't mention last time as you can see with this outfit there's kind of like an ongoing pattern of leg warmers and tights and then chunky shoes i don't really know how to explain my style but anyways this outfit has a long black long sleeve v-neck from forever 21 i believe or h&m but i think it's forever 21 and i got a grommet belt from amazon and the skirt is from mercari and i will put the seller's name up there and then the jewelry once again is from the same shops and then the cuffs are from another shop on Depop too, which they make the best leather jewelry ever and I'm about to buy more, so yeah. This fourth outfit is definitely a change in aesthetic here. I would say this leans more towards like Y2K grunge once again. I don't really know what my style is. Somebody called me an anime girl once because my obsession with leg warmers, but yes, this top is from my mother when she was younger, so I don't really have specifics from where it came from. And then this skirt is from another Depop seller, and then my Vans, my platform Vans, which are really old, I wear all the time, and the jewelry is from iGirl. This outfit is really similar to the last one, the only difference being like the colors, of course, and it still has the same, what is that called, like a three-quarter shirt? I don't remember. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But once again, this is leaning towards Y2K grunge, and I'll say that I get inspired by like a lot of the people who I like watch and stuff or who I follow on Instagram. And then this shirt is from Seller and Depop. The skirt is from Seller and Depop as well. And then the Vans are of course Vans. And then the jewelry is iGirl. For this sixth outfit here, um, the whole outfit besides the cuffs, the shoes, and the jewelry is from one Depop shop, which will be up on the screen. And the cuffs is from Occult Collection, which is the last shop that I mentioned that does the cuffs and like leather jewelry and like chokers with like spikes on it. It's really cool. You should check it out. Obviously, check out like all the shops that I mentioned in my shop. But yes, this style, I don't know if this is Y2K grunge or if this is more just like grunge. Once again, I don't really know how to explain my style, but yes. For this seventh outfit, the shirt was actually given to me by my dad when he went to Germany. So, unless you go to Germany, then um, you can't really get the shirt. <laughs> but then the skirt was bought from some store that was selling like a whole bunch of dupes of more expensive brands. But I was not going to buy the actual Unif skirt for as much as it's selling because that was a bit crazy. And then of course we had to bring back the leg warmers and then the demonio shoes. And sometimes this outfit varies because sometimes I'll do my Mori 310s and then I'll do my damn 318s. So 
it's random and then the cuff is also from another store that's selling like stuff for cheap which i don't really remember and the jewelry is Igo, and that's it okay so the story behind this outfit is that this is a trip in my c corset top i searched long and hard for this top and i finally found somebody who was selling it on mercari i think and it was it was kind of like arm and leg it was kind of expensive but when you're looking for trip nyc stuff you pay the price so that's where the top is from so sarah on mercari but it's a trip nyc corset top and then the skirt is also from the last sarah on mercari you guys have seen this skirt plenty of times before and then the socks i don't always wear them with this outfit but sometimes i do yeah those are from agro the jewelry is also from agro and these shoes are damned 318s and sometimes i don't wear those with this outfit sometimes i wear my stomp tens but it just depends on how i'm feeling and also tattoo reveal that is a bts related tattoo in this outfit we have the scully set well just the top but this is the scully set top from igro and the skirt is from another like the same website where you get like the dupes because this is like obviously a dupe of a unif skirt which i did not know until after and then the jewelry is from igro and go to shorty boutique and then of course we're wearing the dan 318s and it also look again the tattoo again wow and then this last monstrosity here it's not really an outfit that i would wear but i wanted to just show you guys the fact that i achieved this visual key-esque skirt here and it was expensive but it's mad rare ew don't say that again but yeah i just want to show you guys this and how complicated it is to put on because i have to put it on with like pins and like i was given instructions on how to put this skirt on it's crazy but i love it and i can't wait to style it and I have to find something to wear it with, but I don't know what to wear it with. Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. Is it short? I don't know. It took a long time to do to edit. But I feel like it's short, but we don't really know because I didn't finish yet. But thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Maybe you can get some inspo from the outfits. Because like I was continuously saying, I don't really know what my style is. I looked up, like I was on Pinterest and there's like this thing called emo princess. And I was like, you know what? That is like what it is actually i don't need to know it could just be whatever i don't need a label on my style <laughs> um also thank you for 280 subscribers thank you for even that first subscriber that i got i don't even remember but like i get notifications where people subscribe so i can see who you are hello <laughs> yes thank you for watching um maybe i'll do a q a if you guys want to ask me questions maybe i'll do a q a at some point too i don't know i want to open up more but not too much but yes thank you for watching i'll see you later camera's about to die so goodbye <laughs>